Today, epidemics can spread around the world quicker than ever. At any time, passengers flying into Britain can bring the next strain of some deadly virus. An epidemic may be restricted to one location, but when it spreads to other countries or continents and affects a substantial number of people, then we have a pandemic on our hands. We need to watch out for the emergence of an avian flu virus that spreads rapidly from human to human and for the growth of antibiotic-resistant microorganisms against which people may not have any defense, not to mention all the infections that might get into the food we eat. I work at the Open University's Faculty of Maths, Computing and Technology on what is effectively an early warning system to detect new epidemics. The system was used extensively throughout the 2012 London Olympics. Fortunately, there were no major outbreaks, and it will be used at the 2014 Commonwealth Games. Run by Public Health England on a weekly basis to detect unusual patterns for further investigation, it is known as the lab-based exceedance system. Our research at the Open University has substantially improved its efficiency, reducing the number of false alerts. The great benefit of the system is that it can run hundreds of sorts of different infections reported each week. But we cannot afford to drop our guards. We do not know when or where the next epidemic will strike, but one will definitely come. And this system provides a last line of defense against it.